Hey guys, we're here social distancing ourselves. And so I'm gonna be doing this video from my lovely at home studio in, you guessed it, Huntington Beach, California. And today I'm gonna to be continuing my IT band series by talking about what causes IT band pain. So if you look this up into Google, and the reason why I'm talking about this today is because I actually did look up the most frequently searched things on IT bands, and this was one of those things on the list. And if you look up what it says on Google, most of the sources will talk about how, you know, the IT band is caused because your IT band gets tight and, you know, probably from overuse and the friction of the band between the muscles and the bones and the tendons. And we're gonna talk about that and then how could that could actually not be the main cause of the IT band and how there's actually some other things that could cause IT band pain. So we're gonna talk about all those things, but first let's get a quick look at the anatomy. And I don't have any uh, hand-drawn pictures right now of the IT band, so I, and I can't show you any pictures from an anatomy book because that would be copyright, but I'll just show you on me. The IT band, is a nice long fibrous band that starts right about here just below the hip and goes all the way down to the knee. People will experience symptoms anywhere from here all the way down to the knee and often will confuse IT band pain with knee pain. So also um, the IT band is connected to two muscles, the tensor fascia lata, or TFL muscle, which is this tiny little muscle right here that directly becomes the TFL. It's like a very long tendon almost of the TFL, but it's not. The TFL, or the IT band is about this wide, and it goes down along here, along the side of your thigh. And it also connects up into your gluteus maximus, this big glute muscle here. So. What else could cause IT band pain? So I'm gonna show you a hand-drawn picture that I did in school of the dermatomes of the body, which are skin areas that are innervated by spinal nerves. So as you can see, each area of the skin has innervation from all, each of these lines represents a spinal nerve. And so you have S1, L5, L4, L3, and so on. And what that means is, for instance, those all connect to certain spinal segments. So this is the L5 nerve, or these are all the lumbar nerves, like down here, it's L1 to S1. Those are all the lumbar nerves down here. And there's actually, uh, once they become the S nerves, they're the sacral nerves. And so all those nerves will come out of the body, uh, of, uh, sorry, they do, they don't come out of the body like little fingers and go bleh. Um, what they do is they come out of the spinal cord and go through these little holes um, formed by two vertebrae and they go down into the front sides and back of each part of the leg. So I'm going to zoom in real quick here so you can kind of get a feel for that. So this will travel and it will become other nerves everywhere in the body. The nerves are like a huge rope and pulley system. Once they leave the spine, they will go off and connect with other nerves and become bigger or smaller branches of nerves. But if you pull on one side or affect one side, it will affect the other side, just like a rope or a hair tie. If you pull on this side, it automatically puts tension on the other side. So that's actually pretty accurate with your nerves too. So that's, po that's something that can also cause IT band pain is compression or sliding issues or tension issues of the nerves. Nerves get affected by or need to be able to do or withstand those three motions, tension, compression, and sliding mechanisms within the body and when that gets affected the nerves can have pain. 
Fortunately, there's a lot of things that you can do to resolve that, and that might be something that we address in a later video in this IT band series. Now, the other thing that can cause IT band pain is related, but not necessarily always exactly the same. And that is a lumbar disc. These discs are these nice little clear discs, haha, in the spine. And they look kind of gelatinous here. And that's because honestly, they're made out, they're like fibrous discs. But they do actually have some like gelatinous fluid in the middle. And sometimes that fluid can kind of, when you injure the disc and have tears in it, that fluid can break from the middle and push into the outsides of the disc and then cause the disc to bulge out and press on the nerve or cause the disc to become inflamed. And because it's so close to the nerve, look, look and see here, it's the disc and the nerve are really close. So they're very interrelated in terms of pain. Um, if the disc becomes inflamed by proximity, sometimes the nerve can become inflamed and a swollen nerve can't deal with compression. So a disc can cause a nerve issue or a disc itself can just refer down to other issues. So oftentimes disc pain can feel like SI joint pain back here. It can feel like glute pain. That's a little less common. Usually glute related pain is more nerve related but also it can feel like IT band pain too. Less common, but also still possible. And it also depends on, you know, have you started a new activity that could affect the discs? Are you sitting a lot at work? There's a lot of uh, things that could cause it to be more likely a, di a disc or a nerve. And if you go see a good doctor who will do a good exam for you, listen to you, take a good history, weed out those things and then you know, test all of those options. They can tell you what the cause of that could be. So finally, just wanted to put it out there that IT band pain isn't always from training too hard. It could be, you know, that you just have some biomechanical issues or, you know, you need to buttress certain areas to, you know, protect the spine. It could be from overuse, like I said, it could be that usual, oh, like your TFL is too tight or your glutes too tight, so it's pulling on your IT band, or you've just been running or kicking a soccer ball so much that the IT band is getting tight and, you know, also having too much friction on the other tissues nearby or any of those muscles in that area are getting too tight. The overuse um, theory could also be true but it's less common than people think it is. So what you really should do is make sure you go out there and get a thorough exam. If you have any questions, I can totally answer any of them. You can shoot me an email, go to my site, drop a comment. I'd be willing to help you figure out if any of those things are the cause of your ITV and pain. And also during this time, I know a lot of people can't see a lot of doctors due to COVID-19 or don't wanna go into a lot of places. So if I can try to help you virtually, I definitely will. I'm here to help you, let me know, stay safe, stay clean, wash your hands, and have a good one.